Hooray for Hollywood. You got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you pun- Oh, hello there. I am Stan the Movie Man, and this is my review of The Hunt. It stars Ike Barinholtz, Betty Gilpin, Emma Roberts, Hilary Swank, Wayne Duvall, Ethan Soupley, and many more. Um, it is a story of a group of people selected from all over the country. And that group of people have posted things online. Things of a more conservative nature. Like they, you know, post that um, global warming is a hoax. Or they post that um, big game hunt, uh, pictures of them with a big game animal that they've shot and killed like a rhinoceros. Um, or... Uh, they buy into a conspiracy theory of a place called the Manor. The Manor is supposed to be owned by a woman named Athena, a very powerful businesswoman played by Hilary Swank. Um, the Manor is supposed to be this place where people are hunted for sport. Um, all of this comes out of an email hack from a year earlier. Well, these uh, 12 people all wake up and realize that uh, they're, they're in this field and they, they're wearing these gags, these, uh, they're like uh, horse bridles, um, and they're locked in the back. And soon they're being shot at. And one of them, uh, a, a girl named Crystal, played by Betty Gilpin, seems better prepared than the others. She doesn't hang around in one place too long. And, um, and they are being hunted on a place uh, that's out in the middle of the woods. None of them knows how they got there. None of the hunted knows how they got there. But um, they, uh, most of them are ill-prepared for uh, fighting back, with the exception of Crystal, who seems really good at it um, and the story as it's explained as it unfolds um, is a, um, a satire of class warfare a satire of our very divided political uh, system um, the war that goes on on social media between the, the the two sides that really don't really represent a lot of people they are merely extremes of both ends and it is done with a lot of humor and a lot of gore um, this movie was supposed to actually come out in September however because of some mass shootings um, and the violent nature of the film uh, Universal and Blumhouse decided to pull it from distribution it also caught the ire of one side of the political spectrum who felt like it was picking on them. Now, they of course hadn't seen it. Very few people had. Um, and as it turns out, that side of the political spectrum really should be championing, championing this film because it presents the folks who are the uh, liberal elite uh, as bloodthirsty animals and the, the, the folks on the more conservative side are just trying to live their life and be left alone when they get drawn into this hunt. It is, it's a very funny film at times. Um, uh, the story is, and, the, and that political divide, are of the most ultra extreme on both sides. Um, and the reactions of especially Betty Gilpin's character, uh, Crystal, she is terrific in this movie. Um, and we don't see much of, of Hilary Swank until the near the end. So if you're thinking she's going to be a huge part of the story, she is. She's kind of what kicks it off, but we actually don't see her until late in the film. Actually, a lot of the people that you see in the trailer and at the beginning of the film will not be there for very long. So, just prepare yourself. Uh, there's, there's not a lot of... <laughs> uh, people don't hang around 
all that long on either side of the political spectrum in this film. It is a huge amount of fun, though. I enjoyed The Hunt a great deal. It's, um, it's a, um, it is, it, you can't take it seriously, um, which is a part of the story of the film, taking things seriously that are just totally unbelievable. Um, and, uh, like I said, Betty Gilpin is, is terrific. If you enjoy gory movies, this one's for you. And if you enjoy your political satire, uh, delivered with, uh, bared teeth, then you'll probably enjoy The Hunt as well. If, however, uh, you think such things shouldn't be satirized or, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's too violent, um, then stay home because you're probably carrying coronavirus, but, um, hopefully not. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed the hunt a great deal. I am giving it four stars. Um, now coronavirus, uh, because of the delay in various films, uh, their release dates being pushed back. I was going to review uh, A Quiet Place 2 for WINZ uh, next week. However, that has been postponed. Um, and according to the latest film schedule I looked at, there are no wide release films coming out next week. So I don't know if I'll be reviewing something going out to see something that's already out. Maybe I'll go to an art house and check out something there. Uh, or maybe I'll review a couple of things on Netflix or Amazon Prime or uh, whatever I have access to. So, things are kind of up in the air. Take care of yourself. Help those folks that need help. Uh, wash your hands. Most important thing ever, wash your hands. 20 seconds minimum. Uh, don't hoard toilet paper. That's the thing I don't understand most of all. Coronavirus doesn't cause a problem on that end of the body. Why are people hoarding toilet paper? I have yet to get a good explanation for that. But don't do it. You don't have to do it. Just every, don't hoard anything. Hand sanitizer, soap, toilet paper, paper towels. Don't, don't hoard anything. You don't need to. All right? Everything's fine. Just try to calm down a little bit. If you get the virus, stay home. If you're in decent health, it probably won't be, you'll feel like crap, but it won't be that bad. Uh, if you're in poor health, keep away from everybody as much as you possibly can. The two theater chains in my town, Regal and AMC, have cut um, theater capacities in half. In other words, they're only selling half as many tickets as they could to fill a theater. So uh, if you plan on going out to see a movie, for instance, keep a seat between you and the person next to you. Just maintain distance. Don't cough in people's faces. Just try to act like a good human being. I know for some of you, it's difficult. It is for me sometimes. But we can all get through this together if we just don't lose our freaking minds. Okay? Please. I'm begging you. All right? Uh, check out my full review of The Hunt at StanTheMovieMan.com. Listen to the podcast I do with my wife. It is called Comedy, Tragedy, Marriage. It's a podcast about life, love, and entertainment. And you can find that wherever you get your podcasts. Follow me on Twitter at MovieManStan. And if you want to, send an email to me, StanTheMovieMan123 at gmail.com. Stay well. Stay safe. Take care of each other, and until next time, later.